What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Magic Online streamed internet draft off of the computer. I'm on the computer right now, and I'm connected through my AOL account. And uh, we're going to be entering the chat room any second now. Can you explain every pick to the next draft? No. No, I cannot. I would never do that. I will take this Goreclaw Terror of Calcisma because it's a really good card. It's a very good card. I think it's better than Lich's Caress. I don't think it's better than Lich's Caress, but I think it's stronger. Mia Culpa 82, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, I think it's a cooler card to play and build around. Whereas this is just a boring removal spell. Boop. Put him in the deck. Whenever a creature or planeswalker control dies. This could be good, right? It's just a 4-4 flyer, right? Like, it's, it's a bad top deck if you literally have no creatures. But other than that, it's a 4-4. I don't know how Goreclaw is underrated. Like, it's a 4-3 for 4. It's the same as the boar in this format. I've said this before. The boar, the 4-3 boar that can only be blocked by one creature, it's basically the same as that. It's a 4-3 for 4, only it has an ability that makes your bigger guys cheaper, and it also has an ability that makes your other guys bigger, and itself, and it attacks as a 5-4. So, yeah, I think it's better than Dreadmaw. It comes down two turns sooner. I might just want the Colossal Dreadmaw, though. I think we just want Colossal Dreadmaw. Unless you meant, is uh, is the Ajani's Vengeance better than Colossal Dreadmaw? In which case, probably not because of Goreclaw. Same thing with Vigilant Bayloth. I'm just going to cut all these good green cards off. Look at this. We got the 4 drop, the 5 drop, the 6 drop. Or, if we have this guy, the 4 drop, the 3 drop, the 4 drop. Which is pretty sweet. Your mom comes down two turns sooner. That's fair. I, uh, I, I I had a feeling about that, but I never really knew for sure, but I really appreciate you confirming that. I like Rejuvenator uh, a lot in these decks. I don't think it's Death Baron, although it could be Death Baron and we could just take all the skeletons. The spooky, scary skeletons. Uh, I don't know if that helped, per se, Floating Demon Skull, but it did. It was good information to have. It was good to know. It's good to know these things. I wonder how many of the Ravnica sets Colossal Dreadmaw is going to be printed. All of them. The answer is all of them. Also, this guy's 4 plus power, and he only costs 3. That's pretty cool. I think I like Rejuvenator better than Sky Scanner because we want to be able to ramp to 5 plus. Any chance I can get? No. No. I'm just going to take Rejuvenator. I don't think we're going to be I don't think we're going to be skeletal archering in this draft. Pizza run it does always wheel. That's a good point. Michael Barbobly boo. Space Commander, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I'm going to take this Gaspark Twins. Look, there's a Skeleton right here. So someone's going to get Death Baron and Skeleton, and I'm just going to take all these big dumb idiots. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Titanic Growth is pretty important in these uh, in these decks. It can usually be the difference between winning. We got a 2-drop, 3-drop, 4-drop, 5-drop, 6-drop, 7-drop. This is like the perfect curve ever. Ha <laughs> 
Oh, the number of people in the chat who said sexy curves at the same time. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Spooky, scary skeleton and shivers down your spine. Did you guys know about the spooky, scary skeletons? They are notorious for sending shivers down your spine. Do you want Manolith here? Manolith is just like a bad Elvish Rejuvenator, right? Could also take Highland Game. We could take Cinder Barons too in case we get Nicol Bolas and then we're able to splash Nicol Bolas. We could also take Spark Tongue Dragon and just be green red. I don't think we want to be mono green. I'm going to take Spark Tongue Dragon. Yeah, like, when you draw infinite lands every game, there's really no point to playing uh, one and two drops, right? Oh, boy. This hand does nothing. Frilled Sea Serpent actually goes well with Gore Cloud, which is kind of comical. Um, <laughs> it's like, it's just like a blue, it's just a blue Colossal Dreadmaw. It also costs four mana, which is not terrible. I think Cavalry is the best card in this pack. I do like Naturalize for the sideboard. I'm probably just taking Naturalize. Oh, a Boggart Brute? Okay. Well, keep the Red Dream alive. Oh, wow. The Spark Tongue came back. That's impressive. Uh, I don't love this guy, but he does cost one mana with a Gore Claw. So my love for him goes up. Because of that. I'm going to put one of you. No, you can stay there. I'm going to put one of you guys over here because you'll probably be an eight, an eight mana guy. Uh, we did in the in the in the 3-0 deck we played mono and green. Those are our two colors. Gork Law in this country, it's not. <laughs> uh, actually, it's Gorick Law. It's uh, it's from old Richard. It it came for it came down from old Richard Gorick. From the old Gor from the Gorick family. What you guys know about Gorick Law? Love you, bud. Here's a singular mom buck. Wow, that's that's fantastic. One singular mom buck. We did not open uh, Nicol Bolas, guys. I just want to... We've opened two Nicol Bolas's, though, so I'm not complaining. I'm just expressing my resentment. That's kind of like complaining, right? I don't know. I like Rexage a lot. I might like Druid of the Cowl more. Going from two to four is pretty good. Plus, we already have a naturalized. I don't think this is... Sage is not bad. Sage is actually good. Uh, I don't know if it's good enough to forsake a two-drop that ramps us, though. That is my... Uh, 100% Rabid Bite. Rabid Bite was a card we were missing in our 3-0 deck. So I feel like if we get some, we can just 4-0. You know what I mean? I would like to take either one of these... But Rabbit Bite's pretty important for the... It's for the cause. Oh, Dragon Disciple is fantastic. It's a ramp guy and it's a dragon. I would love to take this shock. Not doing that, though. This also adds any color, so we can add blue or black for the Nicol Bolas we get in pack three. Just to be clear. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spooky, scary skeletons. This is the thickest deck you'll ever see. A Plummet, a Titanic Growth, a Boggart Brute, and a Greenwood Sentinel. A Johnny Greenwood Sentinel. That's a little Radiohead reference in case you guys... In case you guys didn't get it. It's probably just Titanic Growth. I think Titanic Growth is actually really good in this deck. Uh, Centaur Courser? <laughs> this looks nothing like Scred Dragons, you damn liar. The only reason I want to take this Rupture Spire is because in my head I'm like, what if we do open Nicol Bolas? We want to play that guy, right? No, we're probably just going to take Courser here. Oh, Gift of Paradise, though. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll take a gift. Never look a gift of paradise in the mouth. We already have a plummet in the sideboard. I'm not going to use two plummets. 
Come on, don't be ridiculous. We already have two flyers. What problem is? And we can make another flyer here. We got a rabbit bite. How are we? We're all half centaur. Wow. Wow. Uh, I imagine Ugin and Nicobolus are brothers from different mothers. I can't imagine they're... Oh, Rock's Oracle? That's probably better than Lava Axe. Ra rocks or Axe? I can't... There's no way I can make that work in any sort of... Imagine you the 20... Imagine... <laughs> Imagine opening a pack and there's a $20 bill just waiting for you to fold it up. Imagine the, the $20 bill actually helps you win games of magic because it's stronger than most of the cards in the pack. Uh, if my first round opponent has three Nicol Bolas in their draft deck, I will, I, I will log off of Magic Online, uninstall it, and then end the stream and walk away. That's, that's, my, that's my promise to you. better than Lava Axe. Can you believe this guy? I like the five drops in this deck because we do want to go Gift, Rejuvenator, or uh, Draconic Disciple into a five drop. That is our ideal our ideal course of action. This pack is pretty bad. I guess I'll just take this idiot. I don't think he's... This, I don't think this card's actually playable. I like Wolves. I also like Basilisk. Hmm. So, one thing we can do is go turn two Druid into Goreclaw. On turn three, and then on turn four, we actually have four, five, six, seven mana, so we can go turn four Gaspark Twins. I do like having at least one Basilisk because of Rabid Bite. Yeah, we'll just take the Basilisk. I think we can get more cards like Timberwatch, Timberhide, Timberwatch Wolves, Timberhide Wolves, Thornhide Wolves. I don't know what their name is, man. I like a root snare for the sideboard. I don't care about another Anaki, a knock over, oh knocky ogre. Yeah, whatever. Wow, this is a lot of hostile minotaurs. I think they didn't like what I said, so they're like, yeah, you're going to see three of us now, buddy. Oh, Vivian's Invocation. Yeah, I'll take that. That's good in these decks. That's an easy pick. It's not a Nicol Bolas easy pick, but it's an easy pick. It's okay, we're going to get past the Nicol Bolas. No big deal. It's going to be the first time in Magic Online history. Are you guys ready to make history? Here we go. It's actually not terrible. Dragon Sword's not bad. I mean, we do have at least two dragons at this point. Why can't this be the draft where we get the third pick, Lathless? I think it's probably better than... Actually, it's I don't know. If it's, but we have three dragons, technically, if we make a dragon with this guy. Yeah, I think it's either this or this. It is ramp. We are we just have a lot of things that do that already. We have Rejuvenator Gift and Draconic Disciple. They're both ramp. I think this is actually the better pick. Uh, I like a shock here. We don't have many shock-like effects. Sometimes you just want a shock. Oh, uh, giant spider is pretty relevant. Um, the nice thing about all of these, though, is that it gets us to eight mana for Spark Tongue Dragon, so it's not necessarily dead. I could also see splashing Luminous Bonds. We have Dragon Sword, Disciple, and Gift of Paradise already, but I think we're probably just gonna go with Giant Spider. What happens if you don't draw a Claw or it gets killed? What does that mean? I don't understand. I don't understand your question, no beats. Spit flame would be great. I'm okay with it.
Another giant spider? I was saying essentially a druid helps out if you don't get the claw in it into play or something happens to it. Essentially, I'm just saying I like playing. Right, but our other option is Dragon Sword, right? So, I mean, they're both ramp. Eh, I'll just take another spider. This is going to be our deck, unless we find something good. And this guy is definitely good. This is definitely a card. Voice, annoying voice. What? What are you guys saying? Mute it? What? What am I missing right now? What are you guys saying right now? Yeah, I think Siegebreaker Giant is probably better than Dreadmaw. It's one less mana. I, what are you guys saying? Voice over voice? Mute it. What are, what are you guys saying? I have no idea what just happened. Oh, Tormenting Voice. Oh. No, I'm not a big... I don't know. Oh, wow. The second Dragon Sword? <laughs> Alrighty, then. Well, that's a thing. Probably going to take Recollect here. I like having Recollect in decks like this because you don't have card advantage, so it's nice to be able to get cards back. I'm also going to cut one of these. It's probably Gift. This is a, this is fantastic. This goes well with this. Rejuvenator is a body. Oh, Highland game is fine. It's not great. I actually don't like Ogre, even if it does combo with Gore Claw. So this is 24 cards, maybe one cut. Probably one Giant Spider. How many Onaki Ogres can we put in our deck? Actually, because it always wheels, you might be right about the um, the dragon sword. I don't. I mean, it's a rare, so I don't actually see it enough to notice that it's that it wheels. <laughs> yeah, chat once again helping the streamer. Man, thanks for the suggestion, guys. I had no idea what you were talking about. I totally got confused, and I didn't end up taking the card you said anyway. This is a late Aven Wind Mage. Someone's going to get penalized for passing on that. Get wrecked. Uh, we actually want 9-8 because we have Spark Tongues, which require triple red. I think this is probably... Don't care about you 2 I like Recollect. I think Recollect's probably better than Highland Game because it gets things like Rabid Bite back, something that we have... Uh, not a tremendous amount of. And I don't think Highland Game is actually that good. My problem is that we only have... We don't have that many three drops. Or two drops. We have like literally just this guy for two drops. <laughs> Get wrecked. Frank the poor story. Fantastic. You guys can feel free to name it that if you'd like. I'm just going to play... I want to play 41. We have a lot of actually... Druid, Rejuvenator, Draconic Disciple, Dragon Sword are all, are all mana... Uh, producers, so we're just gonna go 41. Beerman man, I sent you a Facebook message. I will play first. Yeah, this hand's pretty rough. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. We can't even cast the. Oh boy, I'm gonna keep this in the in the hope that there's a land on top. What do you guys think about that? We actually have two two shots to hit a land, so. I really hate it when certain streamers start incorrectly drafting when I'm not ready to watch. It's so rude that certain people have their own lives. <laughs> them perfectly. Yeah, I don't understand that either. Unbelievable. Alright, so we have two shots to hit a forest. Unfortunately, we're not on the draw. Keep. 
Oh, we did it. Look at that. We're so good at this game. God, what an amazing, what an amazing time to be alive. This is just assuming we're going to draw runner, 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 right? Well, the thing is we had to cut, like, we have gift. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Here we go again, guys. So far, we're 0-2 today with big fans. So let's see if uh, let's see if the the trend keeps up. Alternatively, our opponent could do nothing for ten turns, and we could just kill them with this Highland game. That is an option. I don't want to overlook that. We didn't hit it. We didn't hit another land. Looks like, looks like we got some Highland games going on here. Do you guys ever see the movie Highland Games? It's like reindeer games, but it's it's different. I'm not gonna attack. I don't know why you want runners. You want lands. It's like he doesn't know how to play. What? What? What's even a runner? What is that creature? Because it runs. Oh, I see. Wow. Show off. Look, I have more mana than I should on the on the requisite turn. Uh, you know what, buddy? Here we go. Hey, that's kind of like a land. Look, we both hit a thing that's kind of like a land. Well, I'm not going to attack now. That's for sure. And then watch as he melts down. <laughs> you know what you should do? If you guys ever play against me, when you have lethal on board and you're attacking for lethal and you have the win, type in the chat, big fan. Just that's it. And then say nothing else. <laughs> just be like attack for lethal big fan <sighs> and then it's just oh we have four mana don't we see I'm so in I'm so invested in the chat right now that I was like oh here comes the essence scatter off the uh, off the oh what? he survived this is great he's doing really good what's happening one big fan bug <laughs> You know what's funny? Kerwit started this whole one X buck thing. And I'm so proud of him for it. What a thing to do. I I have to imagine this is unique to this stream, right? No one else has one X buck uh technology in their streams, right? Oh, this thing's dead. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Give me a land so I can play Daggerback Basilisk kill this. I guess we could rabid bite this thing even without the basilisk. And then we can actually re recollect it and kill the other thing too. This is all pretty good. Oh, we did it. We They didn't attack there? Amateurs. Amateurs. They are tapped out. Let's kill you immediately. Well, we're not going to attack for reasons. Okay. 
One one X book book. Wow, that's that's really meta actually. That's impressively meta. What if I do one of these jobbies? Boop. Hmm. This feels correct. They have six mana, so like they could have played something for six last turn, and they didn't. So I have to assume, like, if this guy's a five four, they just double block here, kill one dude. That's not great. Uh, we have six mana. Oh, actually, yeah, we can. Yeah, twins off the top would be great. I was like, we only have six mana. Actually, we have eight mana. <laughs> I'll play this. Are you going to counter my Dragon's Horde? Yeah, I didn't think so. I'll play this guy. It's my last card. You got to cancel it. Oh, no? Okay. I guess they didn't have to cancel it. On board, we're doing better. But it doesn't matter, because this is the, stale, the stalest of stalemates. That's real mature, man. You're a child. Real mature, real mature HJMS nineteen eighty seven. If that is your real name, doubt it. None of these guys get through. We haven't drawn any big creatures, and it's very sad. This is the stalest of mates. That is correct. It's gonna be a snapping Drake. You ready? Uh oh, it's gonna be five it's gonna be five mana thing. Yep, that's a big big. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Let me get a spark tongue dragon right off the top. Right off the top. We got two of them. What problem is? That's not really a spark tongue dragon, but I guess it's close. I can't cast you, Matthew, because your casting cost it's just too high for me, buddy. It is just too high. I would appreciate it if they stopped playing things. That's my that's my preference. If it wasn't broke, I'd donate and say one stale buck. Well I I accept that, Shadow Titan. I accept your brokenness. Okay. So, if instead, one buck technology buck, buck technology is a proprietary technology. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's accurate. That is a proprietary buck technology. Um, if I could draw instead of lands, if I could draw dragons instead of lands, I would really appreciate that. Our opponent seems to be doing well in terms of drawing big creatures. Uh, we, not so much. Probably just going to trade with this guy. The alternative is wasting a Titanic Growth, and I don't think that's great. When Titanic Growth can also kill other creatures. Okay, well, that's a guy. It's not really the guy we were looking for here. Oh, boy. How many lands are we going to draw because of that? because of that mishap? You're not welcome to anything I do anymore. You're not welcome to any parties, any social gatherings, any dinner functions. You're you're not no, you're not welcome to anything anymore. You've rejuvenated nothing. You understand? And that is unfortunate. That is an unfortunate card that they just played. And I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna alpha into your face. do it everybody's in i don't care anymore gift apparently greater than rejuvenator rejuvenator you have failed me for the last time um yeah highland game can just go God, now they get to draw two cards a turn. Oh, 
What is love? Baby, don't hurt me no more. Boy, now I'm really bringing naturalize in. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'll take 11. Cool. Hey, there's the dragon. Look at that. One ice cream buck for when the ice cream truck rolls your way. <laughs> Is it going to do that, you think? Is the ice cream truck rolling my way? I'm going to take Elvis Rejuvenator out. You can go to hell. I have no, no love for you, buddy. Highland Gaining can come out too. That guy's not doing anybody any favors. All right. Well, this is our. I guess he's bringing in Plummet too, just for the stupid bird, because that guy's real powerful. That's a powerful wizard. I don't love this hand, but I also don't hate it. I know we have three, three mana. Rampy things, and we also have a druid, so. Druid and a mountain would be amazing, but, you know. I accept that. I accept a forest. I sell about 12 items for dollar. That's a good amount of items. Not only that, but I like that you know that. I like that you're like, you know what? This is my... This is my... Uh, my these are my offerings. And uh, this is how many I have at this price point. That's some good business sense right there. Matthew already killing the ice cream game. Yep, that's a dude. That you undoubtedly have rabid bite for. Yes, I was watching one of your old vintage cube drafts and you called a stick slime a powerful wizard and... <laughs> Well, it is a powerful wizard. Well, acidic Slime is a powerful wizard. That is not a joke. Don't be messing around with no Acidic Slimes, kids. Thank you. Monsieur Zoe, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Considering this could be a creature that costs four or that has four toughness, four power, uh, why can't we reduce its cost by two? I don't understand. This is a future creature that has four power or less. Do we hit 340? Oh my god, we're so close. Wow, what a time to be alive. You guys are amazing. Yep, don't like that. Actually, this is... Look at this. Look at this turn. Look at this. Unfortunately, this guy just slows our whole life down. Crikey. Wow, all those names you just listed, Mathiori, sound they they remind me of childhood. Yep, that's a three six. That's the three six, good buddy. One, two, three, Bailoth. I'm getting such a good deal on these creatures. We can recollect this guy back if we really have to, but otherwise they're taking like a million. And I'm gonna trample right over this guy if they want. Ooh. Wow.
This is a very strange block. I could not be more thankful for it. Yep, that was a good turn. I am very grateful for for allowing me to block in such a way. For allowing me to... Woo! So, one, two, three. We can actually just get back Titanic Growth, and I think we're in really commanding position at that point. I don't think we need Gore Claw here. And then we have Invocation with whatever land we draw. Like, do you just not block and you take nine? Because that's pretty good for us. <laughs> Silver plot. Man, just hand it to me. Just give it to me all. I'll just take all your creatures. Yeah, I don't know what double blocking gets you there. I guess single blocking doesn't... You know, I mean, the 3-6 kills this guy by itself. And the only trick I could have... Like, I guess I could have Sure Strike, but I mean, like... It's much more likely I have tech, Titanic Growth, right? I don't know. It's just a very interesting choice. Chumping is one thing, but like, throwing both guys away. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. All right, Vivian's invocation one time. Yep, we did it. Gaspark twins. Oh, actually, Basklis is not the most impressive card for seven mana, but it does kill this fish, so that's pretty cool. Oh, chumping, like, yeah, why not just put him in front of here where they actually trade? I don't understand what's going on. I'm going to give my opponent the benefit of the doubt and assume that they are some kind of wizard that is next leveling us. Matthew Ori, do you have any kind of online ordering system? Can we go to your website, MatthewOriIceCreams.com, and place our orders that way? I will keep. I mean, at worst, is a turn turn four siege breaker, right? <laughs> oh boy! Actually, this is a good. This is a nice little curve we got going on here, and they got no pressure, so we're just we're just killing it. Don't play something. Don't be playing no gift of... Alright, I don't care about that. Although this guy's pretty bad against this guy if we want to ever activate him. I don't think we do. Ori Ori Ice Cream for you is pretty hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, well, it seems like if your fans are beating you, they're, they're actually learning a lot from you. What is this? What is this that you're doing? I don't approve of anything that's happening right now. Alright, well, Rabbit Bite is kind of outclassed here. We're just hoping for Basilisk into Rabbit Bite. I watched a, uh, a Ben Stark video the other day, uh, and Ben kept calling Basilisk Basilic like taking off the second S at the end and everyone in the chat or not in the chat, but like uh, in the YouTube comments was like, stop calling it Basilic. There's an S there's another S in there. And they were just getting so uh, they were, they were getting really, really fur furious, fur furious. All right. Well, this runic armosaur is really, uh, really taking us to task here. Thank you. Gunners. Welcome back. Thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. At least we can block, I guess. Surely there will be 
dino dinosaurs on your dinosaur tour okay that's fine that's fine that guy dies to this don't do anything don't be rabbit biting okay rabbit bite actually doesn't do anything I guess okay we got a brute a little broody tootie oh boy is this a may ability oh it's dang I was gonna say maybe we can just get to a point where we just activate this multiple times a turn and then we draw their whole deck Hmm. We can like we can shock this guy, but I might just be able to kill this guy with the two for one. It's not even a two for one; it's a two for two. And it, like they're tapped out, so it prevents them from doing any kind of shenanigans. Yeah, it's fine. We're on a more evil, ev evil, evil play. We're on a more evil playing field. We're on a more even playing field now. So, oh. Well, I see. How nice. Can I also top deck something similarly powerful? Yeah, that's not bad. Rabbit Bite's not fight, right? It's just deal damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. Boop! Man, recollect doing work, boys. So they have to bl double block here. Or they can block with these two on this guy, which is not great. But it does take out the... Yeah, we'll just attack with this guy. It takes out this Rock's Oracle, which is just fine. If we're trading a Brute for an Oracle... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think we'd end up doing that. Get back, Shock. Send it to the Dome to send a message. Guys, you can't suggest plays like that because it's cheating. Biggest eye roll ever. My eyes rolled. Oh, God. I knew it was coming. Yep. This is a two-turn clock. Because that's how uh, that's how Skyrider Patrol works. That's a f oh, boy. Good times. Good times. Yep. And we can we have one draw, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great and powerful wizard of bits. And some to the acidic slime at the bar for me. Nice. Dash, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm 0 for 3 against big fans so far. So that's cool. It's been a good day. May still have to use our AK.
the next cube. Oh god, here we go. Not again. Oh god, not again. Next cube is like this in August, so relatively soon. Not like this. Gotta be honest, guys, at this very moment, I am a, uh, I'm a little jaded right now. Not loving, not loving where, where we're at right now in this draft or, or in today's matches in general. We're 0-3 right now today, so not feeling it. I'm trying to shake it off, but it's, it's, it's a little bit trickier. We have not played a single dragon yet. That is correct. Yep, that is a land. That is... See, I'm tempted to rabbit bite here just because I don't want to take four every single turn. We're at 16. It's not great. It's a terrible play. I mean, I don't know if salt and being jaded are the same thing. I feel like jaded is just like... I don't think that's being salty. I think that's just being like... Like, salty is like when you're... When you're I feel like there's a there's a, a connotation of being shitty when you're salty. Like you take it out on your opponent, you're aggressive, you're kind of angry. Like I, I think just being uh, resigned to your fate and like just not being thrilled about it. I don't I don't know if that's necessarily salt. If this isn't a Taylor Swift video for Shake It Off, I'll be most upset. It's Richard Cheese. It's Richard. An eight drop, a seven drop, fantastic. It's okay. It's okay. First first play on turn five is really where you want to be. Uh, why not switch to Zendikar? Because that would actually make me more miserable. And uh, if I don't draw lands in that format, I actually lose on the spot. So that seems worse. And Zendikar is a miserable draft format. Those are my opinions on that. Oh, you're going to give this guy flying. That's correct. I forgot about that. I was getting so excited about being able to block. I'm like, it's cool. I'm going to be able to block this guy. It's going to be awesome. There's nothing like, there's nothing we can do. We're going to take another five next turn. And then we're going to draw Druid of the Cowl and take another five. So. Oh, Plummet, you can come in. Giant Spider, you can come in. I don't actually think we need two two of these. Rejuvenator can come out. Have yet to draw a single Spark Tongue Dragon in two matches over the course of four games. I'm going to reluctantly keep this hand. I mean, I was tempted to mull it. Like, they're playing an aggressive red-white deck, and we don't have any plays until turn three, and we actually don't even have a third land drop. So, yeah, I was very tempted to mull this. I... I I still would stand by if we mulled this hand. Like, we have a 7 drop and a 5 drop in it. Like, I don't actually think this is a very good hand. I guess it's just this guy, because if we're going to trade, I'd rather lose this than the Brute. Our 2 drops aren't great. I agree with you. I don't know if the red-green deck has that many good 2 drops. Like, it has Druid of the Cowl. Uh, Goblin Instigator is a good two drop. Thank you. 
Cranium, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, we're definitely getting in there. I can't hear you because I'm at work, but I would never mull that starting hand. Uh, well, then you that's unfortunate because I can't defend myself with my well-thought-out explanation that I gave you. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Old School Arcade, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. All right, so now we have... Three, four, five, six, seven. I think our goal is to block with Corsair if they want to attack with either one of these guys. That's a good card. Oh, hell, Gorgaw, make it. <laughs> yeah, I had a stroke just listening to it. Uh, all right, so this guy affects neither of these creatures. All right, we're having a good time. So four, eight, yep, we are basically dead. Land here would be nice, then we can actually play two things, but, uh, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're literally just two points away from killing them, which is kind of comical. We have eight here. If we had double Titanic growth, we would actually just kill them. Or if we had a shock in hand, a lightning strike. No blocks, huh? Yeah, I think I agree with you. They should have definitely given the... Uh... I mean, we'll just see if we're dead, right? They have three, four, six, seven. Like, if they can deal an extra three points. If they have Inspired Charge, Heroic Reinforcements, another Angel, or uh, Trumpet Blast, then I guess we're dead. If they have one of the four red-white effects that are in the format that pump your entire team, then we die. If they have a Lightning Strike, then we die. I guess they could also have Lava Axe. So I think we're just dead here again. It's going to be Lava Axe, isn't it? This time we're not going to play this out. I have no desire to do this. We are, uh, unfortunately, you guys didn't see the previous draft, but we are 0-4 today in matches. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm not leaving the stream. So if you guys are watching on Twitch, don't go anywhere because I'm not ending the Twitch stream. I'm ending the YouTube videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I might need it now more than ever. And, uh, 
check out my Patreon, my Twitch profile. Both links are in the description below, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully on a better day.